Hey, what's going on? This is Koto here. Today, I'm going to be playing the Sega Vintage Collection Alex Kid & Co. It's a collection of three games, Alex Kid & Miracle World, The Revenge of Shinobi, and Super Hang On. Um, it was released as part of the Sega Vintage series, uh, which which are um, Sega Classics with a safe state system and some additional features. It's great collections of some classics. And uh, I'm going to be going through and getting all the achievements in each of these games as efficiently as possible. So that means I'm going to be adjusting the game settings um, to make it easier, abu abusing the save state system so I can get through the games quickly and get all the achievements. Um, I've been working through all of the Sega Vintage games lately, and uh, I've gotten pretty far into that series. Without further ado, let's begin. Uh, I'm going to be starting off with the Alex Kidd and Miracle World. Never played this before, but uh, it's uh, an older um, platformer for the uh, Sega Master System, I believe. And I heard it's a pretty good game. It's the first in the Alex Kidd series. So let's see. So there's going to be four achievements I need to work on in Alex Kidd and Miracle World. So I need to make sure that I keep an eye on which stages I go to. Uh, three of the four achievements for Alex Kidd and Miracle World, you have to be in, like, you have to do specific things on different stages, um, and then you also have to clear every stage. Okay, so I'll be saving at the beginning of every stage just in case. Okay, so at least I know what to avoid, what to do, save often. I think I already did. Oh well. Alright. I'm gonna be creating saves frequently because I think you only have like a few lives and then once you lose those lives, um, it's game over. And uh, from what I understand, what I read, this game's actually fairly difficult, so. You got controls feel loose, uh, slide around a bit, and. But. For its time, though, this game definitely seems great. I mean, 1986. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no. oh, God. Don't, don't hit that block, the ghost is an ass. Skulls. Uh, just sh shakes me violently. Okay. Don't hit that anymore. There's nothing. What? Oh no! No! Are you kidding me? There's a ghost. Jeez, this game is actually punishingly difficult. Alright. Let's build up my money. I don't understand, I was playing this earlier and I got that beam that came off my when what I was punching. Now I can't get it anymore. I thought it was just a power-up or something, but maybe I have to kill so many enemies. Yeah, it is pretty weird. That's fine. I know exactly what that is. This is why I have it though, I see a question mark block and I just want to punch it. Yeah. Alright, well I'm gonna start saving more often. I keep just moving on, not thinking about it. Alright, 
Oh, get away from me, ghost. A little fucking demon- a little dragon is in the way. <clears throat> Alright, so I just gotta work my way down. this guy pass over here. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I fucked myself there. I wasn't actually trying to run, but like I slid over. Controls are so slippery. Alright, grab the skin. So I have, I suspect this is like some kind of power-up, and maybe you need to get more than one. I have no clue what anything does. I don't know what the money's for yet. I'm not gonna just figure out how this goes. Probably some, just some kind of score system. Just fine. Punch that thing? No. Okay. Oh, I see. It's an item I can use. Okay. Oh, neat. Alright, well, I'm gonna save. I gotta power up and everything. So, you get a power up, then you gotta actually. <clears throat> Press start and then manually use it. Wow, that actually helps tremendously. Because my, my the range of my punch is really limited. And uh, risky to use. I could shoot a freaking beam. Wow. Let's see. I don't know what the money's for though. That's cool. You have like your own little inventory system and everything. But to be honest with you, for like a game that came out like 1986, that's having like an inventory system and everything, that's actually pretty revolutionary. Sega Master System was a pretty capable machine first time. I don't really I don't think I really played much uh that many Sega Master System games. Alright. Save here again. I'm just gonna save at the beginning of every level. I'm guessing this is like a new level. Kinda cool how it transitions immediately to like the next stage. I don't have my power up anymore. I don't know if it's just because I'm underwater. But... That's alright. Access to it anymore? No. Uh, no. <laughs> Gonna save. Yeah. Before I figure out what the hell he does. What? Wait, 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 wait. Can I not damage him? Can I? Uh, I have to actually pass by him. Let me sure if I can hit him. Ooh. Really like that I'm a power up right now. Oh, you can't hurt him. Okay. Alright, so you just gotta space them out properly. <laughs> Fuck off that fish. Yeah, either question marks blocks and me like a ghost or a power up. I'm waiting for a second. Oh, of course it's a fucking ghost. You prick! <clears throat> God. I really should have saved after I killed this asshole. Oh, I guess he wasn't even that hard. Like... Fish down. No. Yeah. Oh, 
Got him. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue what that is. Oh, okay. That's the end of that stage. That's cool. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to save at the beginning of each level. Okay, so the exit's like a rice ball. Oh. Welcome, please buy the things that you like. Hmm. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. Um I'm gonna save real quick and try. <clears throat> what does this question mark do? Thank you. This does. Oh, is that temporary invincibility? Yeah, not a fan of that. Right. Getting pretty good at timing my attacks now. I know what the ring does, it's a power-up that lets me shoot a blast. That's actually really useful. Then this... Not exactly sure, I think it's just like a bike that lets you move around. Oh shit! Oh, huh. uh, if I hit these balls, that stops me in place. Interesting. Um, I'll probably just go with the, uh, one power-up that lets me shoot blast, that's pretty useful. Yeah, I wonder if I can actually go back into the shop multiple times. Welcome, please buy the things you like. Okay, why not. And I'll just get one of each, then. Well, no, I just don't want to go with that. The bike's okay, but I could, I'd rather go to the stage slower and get more money. That's pretty cool though, so you like, can get money in this game to go to a shop. I think that's a really cool concept. Now that I bought that, I wonder if I can actually reuse that. Okay. I'll just check and see if I use the item, if it actually lets, shows the item up in this shop again, but no. Alright, well, now that I have that, I'm just gonna save it just in case. I only have three lives, and then it's game over, so I'd rather not risk dying. Hey, hey, what's up, Arkham? How you doing, man? I have finally finished Ninja Gaiden 3, so I can go back to, like, playing games on a regular basis again. Great feeling. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, I think I lost the power up when I went underwater. I don't want to. Okay, apparently this right here is just something that stops me when I'm in the bike. Yeah, the bike's cool and all, but I'd rather go through those stage a little slower and get some money for like later power ups. Makes the most sense to me. I don't want to keep- I don't want to destroy the bottom blocks. It makes it harder to go through this. Yeah, that power-up's amazing. This power up essentially just like trivializes the difficulty of this game. You can just step back and just take everything out. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, you definitely couldn't get any further with a bike. You'd stop you right here. I'm Stonehead, the third henchman of the king. I'll let you pass here if you win three Jenkin matches. Okay, so I read about this. Um, at the end of uh, EGSA, essentially they essentially have like a boss battle. You just rock, paper, scissors. And if you fail, you actually just die. Pretty stupid. But the, uh, the outcome is always the same. I'm going to save, just in case I mess this up. So, let's see. You must choose either a paper, scissors, or stone before the music stops. Aha! Darn it, I lose. And they, actually the outcome, like the, what he chooses is actually the same no matter what playthrough you do. So, have a guide in front of me. Kind of trivializes this. So, rock and then scissors. Darn it, I lose. Pretty stupid though. Yeah, huge hands. Yeah, Alex Kid has like these massive fists. But yeah, it's pretty stupid though. Like if you if you um if you fail to win the, the rock, paper, scissors game against Jenkin, you lose I think you just lose a life. Maybe a game over, but I think it's just a life. Aha. There we go. Save again. Uh, whenever I get to the underwater level, I have to keep an eye out for an octopus. Then an achievement I have to work on there. Yeah, I'm just saving at the beginning of every stage just in case I so don't miss anything. Hey, look, an extra life. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing nothing's really in these blocks. Hey, there he goes. There's the octopus. Okay, so, in the underwater level, you will come across an octopus in a pot. Its tentacle will be swinging at you. Approach slowly and get close enough to hit his tentacle. Hit each piece one at a time until he dies. Do not go into the pot he was sitting on to advance. Eventually you will come across... Wait. Do not go into the pot. You can go into the pot he's in? That's weird. Um, advance forward in the stage, come across another octopus. I have to kill... I have to defeat both octopus... Um, this stage. Yeah. I just need to slowly... That destroys tentacle. Crap. Oh, I see. Well, that sucks, though. I have a save stake. All good. Yeah. Extra life. Let's get some of this money. I think it's random what money shows up to. Now that I'm at the octopus, I'm gonna save again and um, I'm gonna defeat two octopus for an achievement. I gotta punch these tentacles and I get hit by them. One. Oh, what? Use a hit detection, it's really piss poor. Can <laughs> you see that? It's stupid though, like I fucking clearly hit it and it wouldn't, like, it, my hit, hit wasn't, it wasn't registering my hit.
Alright, come on. Fucker. That's a little bit better right there. It's just trying to hard to sing in the right place. Maybe I can just lay down here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot easier than trying to like balance myself in the right place. Yeah, that makes that way easier. Just like laying against the bottom of the ocean floor. Goodbye. So now I can actually go in that pot, but instead of doing that, I need to continue on with the stage. Right, I need to save. Get back here, come on. I'm gonna run away, huh? A beat platformer, though. <clears throat> there we go. Second octopus. I'm gonna lay across the bottom here and just slowly work my way towards each of these pieces of the tentacle. It's really hard to tell the hit detection of this punch, though. Right. Forward. There we go. Got him. Here we go. Octopus Sushi. Defeat both giant octopi and axe kid in Miracle World. And once I really I can just lay across lay on the ocean floor, it really wasn't that bad. <clears throat> Alright, now that I defeated the second one, I'll save again. Uh welcome back, Kufra Lama. Oh wait. Octopi. <laughs> Not that kind of octopi, afraid. Apparently, I can't go on that. I think the first giant pot, though, from what it said, I think I can actually go into it. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Good thing I saved after the fight. <laughs> sort of. Oh, shit. Yeah, this guy has erratic movement. What a piece of shit. Look at him. I just wish- there we go, got him. Nice short little stage. Save again. Um... That would be plural. Then again, I don't know if there's an actual plural form of... of that. Up here. Come on! Jeez. Oh, I know, it's cool, man. <laughs> Come on! The fuck, these controls are so slippery. Like, trying to, like, jump up and punch this block is stupid. There we go, got it. Thank God. Ugh. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, power ups one time you use. Once you get to the next section, you lose it. Kind of shame. Yeah, yeah the block. I think these blocks actually just stun you. I don't think it's actually that bad. If there's no enemies around. It's not a big deal. I'll save just in case. <laughs> I'd rather not learn the hard way. Yeah, just okay. Blocks just make me shake violently. Uh, yep. Yeah. I was kids having a seizure.
So I don't understand the whole point of being a crouch in this game. And also, why is there a... Why is that coming out of a lava? What the heck's going on here? I don't even want to... I'm trying to get up here. You bastard. Alright, I think what I need to do there is I just need to punch that block and then jump across. I think there's something as simple as this, like, a little bit weird and difficult. Like, trying to land on these platforms to get across here. Good fucking luck. <laughs> Got it, though. Oh, come on. Yeah, even something as simple as, like, moving across these platforms is dangerous as hell. Is it the way the controls are? Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't want to miss out on that money. Yeah, you one hit, you're dead. Some of like the tougher enemies that take multiple hits with like poor hit detection makes it really annoying. I still think it's a pretty solid game, though. <laughs> oh shit, slipped right off. I don't want to overshoot. Not as soon as I get up there. Damn it. Come on. There we go. Look at that asshole. Alright, um. Save here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'd actually want to take the time to try to go through this game with like the limited amount of lives you have. Pretty rough. Not a bad game though. Sure. Just uh controls don't lend itself very well. So like precise gameplay. Yeah, there's no way to get that. Jeez, Alex, kid, your head is so big. <laughs> there we go, that's what I'm talking about. I don't get it though, you have a crouch, but like, there's absolutely no use of crouch. You can't attack when you're crouch either. But yeah, you don't, you can't crouch walk, you can't do anything. Welcome, Alex. You were a prince from the country of Redaxian. Who was kidnapped by evil men when you were but a small boy. Your native land is now being grossly misgoverned by the tyrant Jenkin the Great. Your mission is to save him, the populace from him. A very complex story for a simple platformer, but okay. Yeah, machine gun would be nice. I mean, you can get a power-up, though, that greatly extends your range with your attacks. That helps. Thank you. Got a helicopter. Let's see. There we go. So this is the fifth stage. Save here. Oh, the rice cake uh, is actually how you end a stage. Okay. So now that I'm in the fifth level, I need to use the petite uh, petite copter. Uh, so I need to finish this stage with a petite copter, which means I can't crash into the red circles or be hit by any enemy, or otherwise I'll lose it. So, basically I just gotta go through this level without losing a petite copter, so let's figure out how it works. Okay. Oh, 
I actually have range attacks too. This makes it a little bit easier. Although I cannot touch any of these red bubbles. Ooh. Okay. Well, I gotta save. Oh shit. Can't, can't touch the water either. Fair enough. I just need to, like, carefully pulse my controls. It's like Flappy Bird. <clears throat> Although, not as bad. <laughs> yeah, I can't touch anything. <laughs> oh. oh man, it's so easy to mess up. I'm insisting on getting all these money bags just in case for later. Jeez! Must I will get this. I gotta summon my inner, inner Flappy Bird skills. Even though I really didn't care for that game. But. Oh my god! Come on! I gotta like perfectly like time my presses. Come on. Oh. Ugh. Nice and easy. These money bags are like mean, like where they place them at. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you bastards. <laughs> I murdered an innocent child. Let's save. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know how expensive things get in the shop, but there's just so much money here that it's hard to pass up. Easy. I'm trying to get a feel for it now. Oh, did I just load like a one of my old saves? Damn it. I think I did. No, I didn't. Okay, this is a new area. Maybe I. Okay. I think I accidentally loaded an old save or something. That or at least like stage kind of like repeats a lot of the same layouts. Okay, yeah, I've been here before. Getting better at it though. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of the controls with this thing. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is this a stage just loop? Are you kidding me?
That's crazy. Yeah, they just repeat the same parts of the stage over and over again. Yeah, look at this shit. I've already done this. Good me. What's that? 50. I'm getting a lot of money. Still though. I'm serious, though. They're, repeat they're looping the stage around over and over again. I mean, I have to beat the stage, but... Crazy. <laughs> Last time my money I checked was like 1580. This is like the third- they've like looped this part of the stage like three times now. And I actually have to beat the stage with the... Uh, the heat copter too. There it is. Uh, save again. Yeah, they just they looped this part like three or four times though. It's crazy. It's a little tricky. Got it. All right, there we go. There we go. Got the. Copter Rider achievement, um, for having a snack on the Petite Copter in Ma Alex Kid Miracle World. So that was the fifth level. Basically, just when you get the Petite Copter, you have to go through the full stage, um, without losing it, of course.